if we can send data to the remote, that also means that we can send data to boards. And if we can send data to boards, then we don't need this stupid piece of plastic anymore. There we go. Well, it's Christmas again, so that means we're going to be uploading a new research video for you guys. I'm not sure why it became a tradition, but you know, might as well keep it going. Uh, and this time we have some exciting research about the remote because uh, we all love this thing. Uh, we, we don't love how expensive it has become. We'll get to that in a second. But we, we just, just never seem to let the stupid thing go because of just how amazingly tuned this thing is. And we just kind of wish that we didn't have to give this thing up when we switched to a different board. And with our research that I'm about to present to you right now, we won't have to. Over the past month or so, I've been looking into the Bluetooth protocols that the Booster Remote uses. And I've been working to make some sort of module that you could install on your DIY electric skateboard and you would be able to get throttle commands, trigger commands, and button commands from your remote to your board. So what this basically could mean is that if you were to, uh, like there's a lot of us that keep our boosted boards because of how awesome this remote is and you wouldn't have to give that up if you were to buy a LaCroix or to buy a Cali and you would keep your booster remote or your entire boosted board for that matter uh, because you would be able to use it with your, your Cali and your LaCroix. It, we previously thought that we couldn't get this Bluetooth remote to connect to anything else other than a boosted board because of its encryption. And uh, we were able to successfully get it to connect to an ESP32 microcontroller. Uh, and what this is, if you're not familiar, is that it is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled microcontroller that allows you to uh, take advantage of the vast libraries that Arduino IDE has to offer. And uh, what this basically means is that if we can get the remote to connect to the ESP32, we can then output that data to UART. That is one of the control methods in which the VESC uh, takes in data from a remote control and then translates that into forward, backwards, or brake commands. Um, that's a very gross oversimplification of it. Uh, but the point is, are we able to do it? So I, I, I said if a lot of times there, and the, the answer is yes. Yes, we are absolutely able to do it. In fact, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you right now. Here is an ESP32. It's searching for all available Bluetooth devices because I have specified a MAC address over here, this long thing over here. Uh, though the way I've written the code is that, uh, well, it's actually not gonna find the boosted board because I, uh, the, the MAC address of the boosted board remote will change constantly. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and we just, Re-upload this. <laughs> this is a now in pairing mode. And now, there we go. It is connected to the boosted board remote. And the reason why I can tell is because we have all these values over here. So I am going to scroll the wheel forwards and you'll see some of the numbers changing. Scroll the wheel backwards and you'll see the number. I'm gonna like not obscure the window so you can actually see what's happening. So this is forwards. This is backwards, and you'll notice that there's a third, there's a, the, that, uh, that third digit over there is changing from zero to two, and that is because I am pressing the dead man switch over here. So forward, backwards, dead man switch, forwards, holding, I'm still holding down the dead man switch. And so if I press the button, it'll turn into a one, it'll go from zero to a one. And if I press the button and I press the trigger at the same time, I'll get a three. So that is fascinating. So we can easily use some of these, uh, some of these pins over here that are on this microcontroller. We can hook them up to a VESC and we should be able to just use it like any other remote receiver. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm really stoked about this. So in order to address the remotes are pretty damn expensive part, what we're working on right now uh, is going to be trying to send data to the remote because if we can send data to the remote, that also means that we can send data to boards. And if we can send data to boards, then we don't need this stupid piece of plastic anymore. 
Um, not that it's stupid, that's actually really, really well designed. No matter where our research goes, I'm really excited because this is a new generation of electric skateboard remote that I, uh, I'm hoping that uh, a lot of us can adopt. Hopefully we can set some sort of standard because boosted standard was really damn good. And by helping set the standard, we can develop an entire ecosystem of remotes for you to choose from, whether you like the Dead Man Switch style booster remote, whether you like, dare I say it, the Evolve remote. Um, I don't prefer it, but some people do, and I'm not gonna let my preference get into the way of uh, what people actually want. So if, you, if that's something that you want, then that's something that can be implemented. I, I will say that straight up, this is not an April Fool's joke. I know we made an April Fool's <laughs> video last year about um, connecting to a, an Evolve board using a boosted board remote. Uh, this is legit, like I'm not, I'm not joking around. Straight up, not an April Fool's joke. The data that you just saw was actually the real data that was sent from this remote. That's really all I have to present for right now. I'm just really excited to be able to work on this stuff because I, I just worked on this on a whim. I was like, ah, it'd be kind of cool if it worked, and it did. And so um, that started a, a rabbit hole as of like two or three weeks ago. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited to, um, if this is the, the stepping stone for us to have really good uh, remote technology for all electric skateboards, then yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. All right, be safe, have a very, very Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next one.